So you've got the summons as well? I would like to cordially request your presence in the living room at 6pm today for an announcement. Even his texts sound posh. So what do you think this announcement is then? Perhaps he's up to date with the rent. Hey! <laughs> His first girlfriend yeah. was a lady boy that likes women. Oh. <laughs> I turned him gay. Yes. Hey. hey! How about uh, he once put a lollipop up his bottom and had to go to hospital to get removed? No. Oh, Who would no. do that? That's what. <clears throat> Good evening, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you're both wondering why I've asked you to be here. As you may know, I've been doing various menial tasks to cover my rental obligations. However, this was never meant to be an ongoing career path for me. Fortunately, last week, luck shined upon me, and I have been offered a very well-paid position in the art department of l'Institut Royal pour les jeunes filles et socialement naïf. What do you know about art? I have a doctorate in the 17th century Dutch artist, Egbert van der Poel. Joan, I took you to an exhibition. How else do you imagine I gave you expert commentary on all the obscure pieces of work we saw? I don't know. I thought you Googled it. Google? Anyway, I'll be leaving next week. Hmm. What's the name of that place again? L'Institut Royal pour les jeunes filles et socialement naïf. Well, congrats on the new job. Merci. No, really, I always thought that your artsy pretentious bollocks was purely to try and sleep with women. Well, I must admit, my interest as a formerly of dual purpose would me favouring the less altruistic of the two, but with this new prospect I have the opportunity of sharing my passion with an audience just waiting to have their hearts and minds inspired. Yep, uh, well I hope it works out for you. That's uh, a private boarding school in Switzerland, yeah? Yes, indeed it is. It's a finishing school for young women. Which is why I no longer need to live here. You do know that you're not allowed to sleep with them, right? L'Institut Royal pour les jeunes filles et socialement naïf is a highly prestigious school with a hard-earned reputation of turning out highly accomplished young women who go on to shape the world. And I think what you're suggesting is merely frowned upon, or at least I'm hoping so. But I digress. Since I'm leaving next week, I was hoping you would accompany me to a free film at the local cinema. Now, what film would you like to see? They are showing a Lars von Trier. Morning, Morning Justice, Justice 2. Two! It's a wonderful synchronicity you have, but really, I would Odin Munro is back as Storm Falcon. Yeah, I'm aware of the trailer joke. Really twice as loud, twice as deadly. Well, it looks like I should be witnessing the quickness of the new sickness. Yes! yes. I have one request. If you could pretend to be a couple or on a date or something, it would help my standing at the cinema. So I'm guessing that these free tickets are coming from a lady. I don't see how that has any bearing on the possibility of getting three tickets. But yes. You can't argue with a free film, boys, can you now? Have either of you two got your keys? Nope, nope. Excellent. Enjoy your film.
tag you with a free film, can you boys? That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> so gay. <laughs> <laughs> so gay. <laughs> That's the pink version. Cut! He's been a fool in our side for far too long. A storm falcon. You have any idea how much damage your little stunt caused? How much money you've cost the good, hard-working taxpayers of our fine city? You ruined my life. That was alimony. He knows 400 types of martial art, studied under the great flying birdmen of Tibet. That little girl, she'll never walk again, Falcon. Free sucker! Don't make me shoot your ass! Put the shit down! Down! He was trained by blind samurais on the side of a mountain, in a freezing snow. He's the man men want to be, and women want to be with. I will kill all of you. I'll kill you and your family. It's a piece of bullshit, man. You shut up! And then I'll get them back, and I'll use some sort of voodoo, and bring them back to life so I can kill them again. We're meant to be killing out the crackheads, man. That's how much I hate you. The crooked ass people. Get the hell out of my office. He's a titan. Okay, Blade. Let's go to work. That damn kind of crap and gang is gonna pay for this. Now he has us in his sights. <laughs> we gotta end him once and for all. Mostly, I will be pitying the fools. He's twice as loud and twice as deadly. I won't show them the mercy. No, no. I don't want to witness the quickness of his sickness. Because this time, I'm twice as loud and twice as deadly. Mm. You think you're on the city? Prepare to be mud! Be